<clears throat> Hello, children. All right, so we're starting on a forearm video. I want to make a series of videos on the forearms. Strength, primarily strength and endurance. But the one of the, one of the topics I want to tackle is the forearm pump, specifically how to prevent forearm pumps, and then once you have a pump, what's the quickest way of relieving it between rounds. But before we can start testing prevention and therapies for the uh, forearm pump, we have to figure out how to consistently generate one so that we can test. So, this series of videos is going to be uh, a series of exercises. Should have started my timer. Boom. Uh, a series of exercises to see what generates the pump the quickest so that we can use those. Uh, Use those to whew, generate the pump, relieve it, and then measure the effects. <clears throat> so, what I'm trying now is a series of supersets um, that various people have sent me for training forearms. And I don't know whether wraps or isometrics are best, but right now I'm just we're just experimenting with different exercises uh, to <laughs> see if we can pump up the arm. Overhand wrist curls, underhand wrist curls. Uh, one at a time. And then when I get to the limit of that, uh, just normal wrist curls. And we're doing bent arms and straight arms. For full disclosure, I haven't done anything in six weeks. I took all of the last month and the first half of this month off. And it's hard getting back into it. All right, two minutes and 14 seconds. So before I came down here and I warmed up and I measured my forearms before and this one was 350 millimeters which is like 14 inches and now it's pumped up to I don't know if the camera can catch this so 360 so we added 10 minutes we did 2 minutes 12 seconds. We did 360 on that arm. So that our forearm blew up 10 millimeters. Pumped it up. 10 millimeters. Pumped it up. This one was 335. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. 345. That's funny. 345. So 10 millimeters of two minutes. All right, let's see what we can do. We're just in the trial and error phase. Proof of concepts. Whew. And I got a whole list of things to investigate as far as preventing the forearm pump and then relieving it. <laughs> and there's a series of supplements I've seen people take. And there's even surgery.
working wrist extension now. just because I haven't been training. Uh. One minute, 57 seconds. Less time. All right. I'm out of breath from doing wrist curls. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It ain't the way I run around, but Lord, that's the price you pay. 365. So, we got another five millimeters. There's really no plan for this morning. This is all just figuring stuff out. So we might, you gotta figure out how many sets to do. Three, 45. That's what it was last time. So, we didn't raise anything on the left. I wonder if I measured the right incorrectly then. Uh, well, that's 365 all day. And that's 345 all day. And I'm measuring it in the mark. All right. Just gonna get her a drink. And then. Uh, let's try another set. That's gonna be it for today. 122. Whew. Oh well, it's the first day. I assume as the training kicks in, we'll have more capacity and more strength. All right. Lord, that's the price you pay. 365. 
that's what it was last time. So maybe that's all the pump I'm getting today. Three forty-five. All right. Now we will try our first experiment. You see arm wrestlers raising and shaking their arms between rounds? I'm gonna raise and shake this one and I'm gonna leave my left one down and we'll just see what happens. And what do we get between rounds? A minute, 90 seconds? So, let's see what 90 minutes of shaking. We'll investigate the massaging people do and ice and compression and all kinds of stuff. Myofascial release. Oh, I'll tell you what, man, this is starting to make my shoulder tired. <laughs> I am so out of shape. Maybe we won't do night. We'll do a minute. That'll give you time to drink water and stuff between rounds. Uh, 58, 59, 60. One minute of shaking. Lord, that's the prize. It feels a little better. But I don't know if it feels any better than... All right, 360. We dropped five millimeters. Nothing sucks the fun out of arm wrestling like doing math. 345, left arm didn't shrink at all. So there appears to be something there. So let's do one more minute. And uh, that'll wrap it up for forearm number one. Send me, a, send me suggestions for the name of the series. Like I said, we're going to train the forearms for strength. We're going to do one rep maxes and stuff. We're going to do work capacity stuff. We're going to try to test, not maybe test, but investigate which, are, which exercises carry over the most. But the first thing I want to do is, like I said, when I'm an arm wrestling King's Movers, man, my arm just blows up. King's Movers and high and fast posting top rollers. My arm blows up. I can no longer close my hand. So arm pump is something a lot of a lot of us deal with. So if we can figure out what therapies relieve it and what things prevent it, maybe we're on to something. 59, 60. One minute. Do 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 do. Send me your uh, forearm remedies and ideas. We'll investigate them. 355. Huh. We're almost back to where we started. On the right. And on the left. Look at that. So that's interesting. I was afraid we were going to get nothing. 345. Okay, to recap, started at 350, I deadlifted, still 350, started doing the wrist curls, pumped it up from 350 to 365. This one started at 335, after deadlifting, still 340, 335, pumped it up to 345. Two minutes of shaking on this arm, dropped it from 365 to 355, 10 millimeter drop. We're almost back to where I was. When I walked down this morning, this arm is still pumped up from the wrist curls. So elevation and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle was better than being all Bob Dole arm. All right, children. Thank you. We'll probably do this every Friday for a while. <laughs>